and in Christ, we now join our voices together to confess our faith. We'll use the words of the Apostles' Creed, and I invite you in your own space, wherever you are this morning, to say this along with me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Dan Leone is going to lead us in our prayers. At the end of each petition, he will say, hear us, O God, and I invite you to respond. Your mercy is great. As we call to mind all of those global and intimate concerns, that we want to bring to the Lord today. Thank you. Let us pray. Called into unity with one another and the whole creation, let us pray for our shared world. Gracious God, your word has been sown in many ways and places. We pray for missionaries and newly planted congregations around the world. Inspire us by their witness to the faith we share. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Creating God, the mountains and the hills burst into song, and the trees and the fields clap their hands in praise. We pray for the birds and animals who make their home in trees, and for land stripped bare by deforestation. Empower us to sustainably use what you have given. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Reigning God, we pray for our nation's leaders, increase their desire for justice and equality. We pray for our enemies, bridge the chasms that divide us and guide authorities to a deep and lasting peace. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Abiding God, care for all who are in need, especially Richard, Nancy, Linda, Richard, Kurt, Stacy. Jocelyn, Sarah, Scott, Joan, Jake, Laurie, Cheryl, Leona, Connor, Tom, James, Kenny, Kyle, Nicole, Lois, Rose, Walter, Joan, Connie, Kim, Rick, Jim, Quinn, Dottie, Al, Robert, Elaine, Micah, Jen, Joseph, Holly, Marianne, Frank, Sarah, Mike, Janice, Raina, Stan, Bob, Helen, Josh, and Tina. And we continue to pray for Julia, Betsy, Stephen, Barbara, Lisa, Amy, Jim, John, Gloria, Denny, Jimmy, Haley Ann, Fran, Lane, Helen, and Julie. For those who are doubting, renew faith. For those who are worrying, provide release. For those who are struggling, ease burdens. For those in fear, give hope. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Renewing God, revive your church in this place. Nourish and nurture the seeds you have planted that we might grow as disciples. Replace what has been depleted. Sustain our ministries and deepen relationships with the wider community. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. God, our peace and our strength, we pray for our nation and the world as we face uncertainties around coronavirus. Protect the most vulnerable among us, especially all who are currently sick or in isolation. Grant wisdom, patience, and clarity to the healthcare workers, especially as their work caring for others puts them at great risk. We lift up all those still requiring to go to work, and we pray for those who are experiencing unemployment or underemployment due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Guide us as we consider how best to prepare and respond in our families, congregations, 
workplaces, and communities. Give us courage to face these days, not with fear, but with compassion, concern, and acts of service. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. And thanks for the gift of life. We celebrate those who have birthdays this week, especially Alex, Anne, and Jeff. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. We pray for those currently serving in the armed forces, especially Caleb, Patrick, Matt, Christopher, Stephen, Andrew, Melanie, Brendan, Andrew, and Sean. And we pray for all those working around the world for peace. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Eternal God, we give thanks for all who have died, especially Nathan Soderblom, Bishop of, Bishop of Uppsala, whom we commemorate today. Comfort us in, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Sustaining God, we thank you for the life you offer to us. We long to gather at your table, Lord, but we trust that you still come and fill us now. Grant that we might receive you into our hearts, that we may know your will and be inspired by your spirit. Receive these prayers, O God, and those too deep for words through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. I receive your peace and invite you to share peace with one another in the chat. If you're joining us on Facebook Live, I invite you to leave a little message. Let us know that you've been there so that we can still be in community in some way. It is important for us to continue to connect with one another and offer peace to each other. Also want to take this opportunity, as we do every week, to thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to support Faith Lutheran for the ministry that goes on through here, uh, the sowing of the seeds through this place. And especially at this time, we thank you for your financial contributions. We still need those uh, to continue to be the, the church here in this place and to offer these online worshiping opportunities for you. There are a few ways that you can financially contribute to Faith Lutheran. You can mail a contribution. You can text GIVE to the number on your screen and in the chat. You can go to our website and find out information there. Thank you again. And I'll uh, leave this information up for a moment and ask Mike to play for a few minutes here for, or a minute here for us. And then we'll move on to our sending blessing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mike. Dan will share our sending prayer 